Eivor, did you bring us any treasure? With a boat and a full crew, that is worth more than... Something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? There has always been a war. Got 
some on your boots. It is. Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will make you regret what you've taught me today. I haven't taught you enough if you think that line works. Where's the rhyme? There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Aldous. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Need anything else? 
See you later, Sven. Sure. Seek the while and play. Ah, Orlok. I know this game well. Orlok. A game of skill. Orlok. <laughs> How about a game? Let us play. I am pretty good. Do not say I did not warn you. Leader with my talk. Can.
Almost got you now. This will do. My game, stranger. Just give up. favored your hand today. Shall we go again? That is enough Orlok for now. <laughs> Toby! Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? Well, I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. It must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Welcome. <laughs>
Go, my eyes. Valka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Huh? 
I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? Valka. I am here. Dance. I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. 
No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. 